hello guys welcome to solving solutions to the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to explode your should we call it a polygon but before we do that we need to connect some lines or we need to connect these points with some lines right good so having connected them with the lines we are now going to explode the lines so that we now have what we now have some individual lines and then we will now finally determine or maybe calculate the length of those lines right good so the first of which is to what to connect these points with lines so we come to points to part so we have what points to part right the input layer is the point feature we have now these other parameters are actually optional but if you are interested you can what you can specify using the different um, attributes right good so we just go with the default and then if you also want to save it into a particular file you can decide to save it however we are going to leave it as a scratch layer then we click on run so we have what our lines connecting the points right good joining the point now if you look closely if we open this um the attribute table you are just going to see one line right good so if we dock and then we select this you see that every everything is selected because it's just like what a polyline or maybe a polygon right good it's more of a polyline so what we want to do is i want to explode so that we can measure the length of each of these lines so to achieve that let's just deselect to achieve that we still come back to the processing toolbox and then we search for explode so we have explode lines and then what we have now is the path we still leave it as what is crash layer right good and we run so we have our result if we decide to unfloat this and then we now open the attribute table of this you now see that we have about 50 lines right good so each of these lines would now have what a representation somewhere right good so you now see that they are all having what different representation so as we click on them the turn what the line turns yellow to show that that line that is selected so finally we are going to now know the length of each of these lines so to do that we come to the field calculator and then from the field calculator we are going to create what a new field let's call it length right and then the um, field type will be decimal let's say the precision should be three decimal please and then let's now search for what the function to use for the expression so it's length so we have what underscore length right good so you can see there's a preview of what the length of at least one of them if we click on ok as you can see we now have a new field that contains the length of what the different lines so any line you click you definitely see what the length of that line let's just come to the beginning you see if this is the line this is the length right good so we have shown you on today's tutorial how to convert um, your lines your points to parts then having done that we now um, exploded the line to have some individual lines after which we now determined what the distance of what or the length of those what individual lines right good so we hope we have provided solution to this particular solving problem you know where you want to see the application is maybe if you have some points of interest and then you want to know how they are connected by what by lines and then measure the the length of their connection so this might be a school or a park or anything you know it's mainly a polygon but you can decide to use the centroid so that um, it will define a point then you now know okay from this park to this park is this meters and all of that right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye